see by Indiana's face, this was the highlight of our trip. What do you think, Indy? What do you think? You like it? Pretty good spot. Cheers. Breakfast with a view. Mm-hmm. She's like, there's nothing good on it. There's no bacon there. Yeah, she was going for my mm -hmm. finger. And of course, he finds a coffee shop. He stops for a coffee shop. Isn't that right, Indy? Yes. Ready? Head one tree point. And there she is, the one tree. Yeah, now there's a cool yeah. building down this there. Way. This way. Good girl. Looks like some good fishing down there too somewhere. Oh yeah. Coffee stop number two.
and these would be better as a mailbox. Yeah, how cute are they? Yeah. And there she is, Australia Rock. It's actually massive. I thought it would be the size of someone's head, but that's actually quite impressive. Oh my God, they're literally just there. Hello, big fat boy. Obviously, as you can see by Indiana's face, this was the highlight of our trip. <laughs> um, according to this cute little plaque, it's saying that it was the showground land and... Here you go, the pink gates were first built as an entrance to the showground. The How cute that they've left it here, because yeah. you've got the golf course up behind here, suburbia over here. Yeah, it's quite cool. Last night at Tomagin, and we're all set up for dinner. And lucky it is our last night because tent number two has failed last oh, night. Our $25 Kmart tent we actually covered with our old Quest uh, fly because the inside one was not very good. This one luckily kept us dry on the inside. And that's the last one standing so far. So we'll see if that goes down tonight or we'll... Third night. Third night, yeah. See, so out of ours, we've used ours three times. Failed on the fourth night. Same with this one. Use on the fourth night failed. This would be the fourth night using it. So we shall see. So we're going to try some dangerous ales from Backyard Paddle Elves tonight. 
Don't know how I feel about a pale ale, but I'll try it. It's not the worst, to no. be honest. I didn't actually didn't see if this one said where it was made. Milton. Milton? Oh, right, well, there you go. They're all local areas. Um, it's a cool looking can, that's for sure. survived our last night in our spiderweb of a uh, tent. We had to put this big girl over the top to keep all the extra condensation off and the dew in the morning we just stuck some poles in to keep it up off with all the inside. Obviously for a $25 tent it does quite well but it does start dripping through if it gets wet. Well that's a wrap for our lovely long weekend camping trip for Luke's birthday. I think everyone involved say so we've had a brilliant time, perfect weather, not too hot, not too cold.